Hi everybody, welcome to Beyond the Cookbook. My name is Natasha and welcome back to my kitchen. For today, because it is so snowy and so cold and it's wintry, we're gonna make soup. We're gonna make Italian wedding soup. It's that Italian soup that you get, usually at weddings I think, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna guess that's where they come from, that has little meatballs in it. Today I'm making one with vegetables, spinach, and a little star pasta. This is an easy soup, it's a hearty soup, and we can make the meatballs, the meatballs from scratch. Don't buy them, just make them, they're very good. So if you're ready, come along with me and we'll do it together. Italian wedding soup is the soup that you find uh, with the little meatballs uh, inside the soup. And you can buy that in a can, but I wouldn't buy it in a can. I would just make it from scratch because it's very tasty and it's probably better uh, nutrients for you. So to start, it's a two-part uh, soup. So you have to make the meatballs first and then you have to make the soup base. So we're going to start with the meatballs because that's what takes the longest to make. For the meatballs, you're going to need, this is my recipe for the meatballs. This is how I've always made meatballs. And you're going to see, if you're familiar with my recipes, you're going to see that my uh, meatloaf is similar to this recipe. Uh, except for in this recipe, I add cheese and herbs. Um, but there's also breadcrumbs. There's uh, Italian, mild Italian sausages. And there's ground beef and you're gonna need an egg or two depending on how uh, dry the, the battery or the mixture is. So let's get started. So first you need about two, two sausages and they're in their casing so you just have to cut them down the middle and then pour them out. And the same with this guy. You can use any style um, sausage. I prefer the mild Italian because as you know, I'm not very big on spice. So here's the meat. This is a mixture of thyme and oregano and it's fresh and it's yummy. It smells so nice. Here's pecorino cheese, Parmesan cheese, and then the breadcrumbs. I'm only gonna put about half. I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna add one egg. And then I'm gonna use my fingers. That's what it looks like. So let's start. When you use your fingers, you can tell, or use your hands, you can tell how um, dry the mixture is or how moist the mixture is. You'll be able to see whether or not you uh, need one or two eggs. And I think this is going to be fine with just the one egg. I could add a little bit more um, breadcrumbs. And I think I will. I think I'm going to add just a touch more of the breadcrumbs. And mix again. This is very hearty, these little meatballs. This soup is, is so uh, comforting on a cold, miserable winter night. Okay, so this is the consistency that I like. Again, if you're making it, you can add more breadcrumbs if you want a little bit drier. You can add an extra egg. You can add more cheese. If you notice, I didn't add any salt. Uh, the cheese is salty and I'm sure that they've added uh, salt to the sausages. So I'm not gonna add salt, any extra salt to these. Um, and we can add, if we need to, we can add extra salt to the actual soup base. So this is the consistency, it smells super good. So they have to go in the oven. You could fry them on a skillet, but I think they're nicer in the oven. So I'm going to, I've got a pan here ready with some parchment paper. I've got the oven set to 400 because I want them to crisp up quickie, quickly. And this is a teaspoon measure, and that's all we need to make these 
make these uh, meatballs. See how tiny they are? They're so cute. This is the, probably the, the most tedious part of this. But you know, you could listen to music, you could watch a video, one of my videos. And you just go on until you're done. When, after these are, are um, roasted, you can actually, you know, cool them. If you're not going to use them right away, you can cool them down, put them in a, a freezer bag, and freeze them until you need them. Some of them might be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Okay, so these are my meatballs. I'm gonna now put them in the oven. Um, I'm just gonna leave them in there for 15, 20 minutes. I'll watch to make sure they don't burn. The oven is kind of hot, it's at 400. Um, just because I want them to cook and crisp up fast. Okay, so they're gonna go in the oven. While we wait for the meatballs, we're gonna work on the soup. And the soup is uh, simple. It's ingredients that you might have at home. Um, you need an onion, and I didn't have an onion, so I did have a shallot, so this is one shallot. Uh, some carrots, celery, some minced garlic, some spinach, like roughly chopped. Um, some wine, water, chicken stock, and little pasta. You can use whatever shapes you like for soup. These are stars. Um, you can use the little tubes or even uh, orzo if you have it. Orzo is just in the shape of uh, I don't know if you can see this. Orzo is just in the shape of rice. But these little guys are going to swell up. So we're only going to use about a quarter cup or so. Okay? So, and then of course salt and pepper. So let's go over to the stove and start. So the first thing we start is with some olive oil in a pan. And hopefully we'll wait for it to heat up. And then we'll add our shallot. Um, I would use a small onion or a medium onion. Um, all the onions I had were large, so that's why I used the shallot. So we'll add that. This just makes the soup fancy. Garlic, when the onions are um, soft and careful not to burn the garlic because garlic burns real quick. Oh, it so sm smells so good. Add the celery Oops. and the carrots. And just saute until they're soft. And at this point, I'm going to add some salt. It'll help release the, uh, the waters from the vegetables and it'll help, uh, help cook, cook them. Yeah. Okay, we're going to add the wine and this is just white wine. Ooh, here are the sizzle. Very nice. It's just, like I said, white wine, it, whatever you like to drink. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Very nice. It smells really nice. So once the wine has evaporated, then you can add your favorite stock. I'm using chicken stock. You could use vegetable. I wouldn't use beef. I wouldn't use fish. <laughs> Chicken stock is fine. And that's one whole carton. If you make your own, that's even better. Come on. And then about five cups of water. Little 
little stir. A little bit of salt and pepper. I'm adding just a little bit of salt because we can add some after if we need it. We'll taste this once everything kind of boils and comes together and see what we need. So that is a soup base done for now. So we'll just cover it, let it come to a boil. We'll check it in a few minutes. We'll check for taste. Uh, we'll check on our meatballs and then see how, uh, how much, what kind of shape we're in to add the rest of the stuff. Okay. Okay, the meatballs are ready. So we're just gonna let them cool. They look so nice. Let's check it out. Oh, look at that. Looks nice. So I'm going to taste it for uh, seasoning. And see what we need. Add a little bit more salt. Woo! That looks good. Okay, so we're going to add a quarter cup of the star pasta. I know it looks tiny, and you're probably thinking, what on earth is that? But I promise you, once it gets cooked, it'll swell up. You'll see it. So these are our meatballs, and they look so good. They look so cute. I'm going to taste this one. Mmm, it's yummy. So I'm going to add them in. And then I'm going to let the soup simmer for a few minutes. To a half hour, maybe. So one thing to remember, once you add the pasta, it's important to stir, especially the bottom, because it's dry pasta and it just falls to the bottom. It sometimes can stick. So it's important to scrape it and try to get it off of the bottom. You don't want it to burn. Okay, we're gonna get ready to add the spinach. So let's check out this beauty. See, look at how fat those stars are already. Look at that. So the spinach doesn't have to cook too long, it just needs to wilt. And this is about a cup. It's just a rough chop. Okay, I'm gonna let it simmer again, and then we'll get ready to taste. So let's check it out. I think it's ready. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the pasta, already swollen. Let's taste it. Looks lovely. See, here's our soup. Look at how beautiful it is. It's got lots of vegetables. It's got these beautiful little meatballs and the little pasta stars. And it smells really, really good. Now, if you want, you can add some Parmesan cheese or pecorino if that's what you have. And we're gonna try it. I'm sure it's going to be super hot. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. It's so good. It's so tasty. The meatballs are perfect. The broth is perfect. I want you to give this a try. I'm sure your family is going to love it. It's so easy to just make these homemade soups at home instead of buying it from the can because you don't really know what you're getting. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy this soup. Please uh, like and subscribe and see you next time.